Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend 2! Today we're going underwater! After, well, there was that guy who went under here, but, uh, that's not really why we're going here. Yeah, that's lava. How lava works underwater, I don't know. I mean, wouldn't it coagulate or solidify by now? I don't know. But anyway, we're in an underwater volcano, looking for Magi. Going after that guy who went into the sea because he had a mermaid fantasy. Hey, that rhymed. Sort of. <laughs> I mean, come on, what guy hasn't had a mermaid fantasy? I mean, besides, I'm not the only one. Alright, here we got some new enemies. Ravens. Uh, nothing special about them, I don't think. Phagocytes. Yeah, we really want to take those bastards out, so let's do that. Uh, let's see... Yeah, let's put those guys to sleep. Just use a psychic knife, since there's not a large group of enemies, so I don't want to put my ice books to use yet. Although, uh... What is it? Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's put it to use. Why not? Ice books on those guys, blizzards on everyone else. That ought to take out most of these guys, except for the ravens there. But anyway, as I was saying, the tortoise and the phagocytes are weak to ice. So that should do the job, yeah. The problem with uh, psychic knives now is not so much that they're not dealing damage, although that is kind of an issue, but more to the point, uh, my agility is getting significantly less than my enemies. So I can't even hit them really that much with a psychic knife. Maybe a little bit, but hooray! We gained some more mana. Well, that's always good. I like how the rooms expand and collapse, kind of like uh, when you're going from one part of the area to the next, kind of like in Dragon Warrior 2. But at least in this game, even though the encounter rate is insane, like I was playing Dragon Warrior 2 recently, and like whenever you go to a new area, you like almost always get a, a random battle or something, you know? I'm just trying to get myself pumped up for uh, the Dragon Warrior games that have been coming out in the DS lately. Now, contrary to popular belief, I do play RPGs other than things that have Final Fantasy in the title. And hey, we get a fire book. All right, let's uh, give that to Indy there. He could use it. Yeah, now I don't think we need to really hold on to the psychic knives. Uh, usually I have more of them, but... Eh, or usually I've used more of them by now. I expected to, but... I guess not. But there you are. And usually, oh, by the way, since last time, I completely forgot this at the beginning, I got the gold helmet. I needed a little more gold than I usually have because usually go after going through Key's body, I won a spell book, uh, something that I'm willing to sell from some of those, uh, I think they were conjurers in that area or whatever. Yeah, conjurers. They usually drop like a cure book or a sleep book or something I can sell for a few thousand gold which would have made up the difference, but I didn't get one this time. And uh, also my Magi setup uh, is pretty much the same as it's always been for a while. Speed Magi for Lore, a Thunder Magi for Tink because it's bugged where it increases the power of all of your uh, spells. So that's good. Mono Magi for Indy, Fire Magi for Pyro because it's basically the same thing as Thunder Magi except uh, the elemental defense. Thunder Magi protects you against ice, kind of like how ice protects you against thunder, because uh, they swapped the bites and the data there, so, oops. Oh, yeah, I should heal up real quick and be right back. Okay, we're all healed up and ready to go there. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I'm pretty close to full, because there's, those phagocytes can uh, really nail lore there, because he has zero mana, so that means no magic defense. So their dissolve can really hurt him. And here's another enemy who can use dissolve. Uh, jellies there. So uh, another thing you can do to protect against dissolve is use a shield. Because for some reason it, they, the game, I guess it thinks it's a magic or a melee attack or something. I don't know. I didn't think shields could protect against that. But it does. So that's really nice for lore there. Uh, yeah, let's put our fire books to use because these guys are weak to fire there. I want to take them out as quickly as possible. Yeah, you don't want to toy around with these guys. Ow. Alright, good job. 
Hey, hey, we got some mana there, too. Yeah, you see, now we're starting to get the mana gains. Yeah. Once you start fighting harder enemies, it starts coming more easily. And here we get some of the magi that's in this world. All right. Better than a sharp stick in the eye. Or a true eye magi. There we go. That'll allow us to see in that one cave that uh, was too bright for us to, uh, well, see in there. And apparently we just exit through the, uh, what is it? Is that called the mouth of the volcano or whatever the technical term is for that? Okay, well now I'm just going to return to that port town, rest up, and then I'll meet you outside of the town. So that way we can head over to the uh, Cave of Light or the Blinding Cave. or I think it's technically called the Cave of Light. I'll meet you outside of the town. Okay, we're back at Port Town and we're all set and ready to go. I uh, sold uh, Indy's Psychic Knives. They're not doing anything now, really. And I've got plenty of spellbook charges to uh, last me quite a while, so we'll be in good shape now. Plenty of enemies weak to ice and fire around here. So let's head to the Cave of Light. There it is. Ha ha! There we go. The True Eye Magi works automatically. I can see. Though this pattern kind of makes me dizzy when I'm moving on it. And here we got another new enemy. Hofa, a uh, walking, talking sword, I guess. Kind of looks like that sword from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. But anyway, they're immune to uh, weapon damage. Uh, basically, anything but the basic elements. So, we're going to have a hard time dealing with them. I could use Thunder here, but, you know, let's save those spell charges and... Give Indy a chance to uh, get some action in there. So, yeah, use a weaker blizzard so that way maybe both of them could get a turn in there. And they have a defense attack, or well, not an attack, but <laughs> a defense ability that they can use, which is essentially like using a shield for them. Pretty good monster for a tank if you're using like an all monster group. But yeah, let's just take him out like that. There we go. All right, more HP. Can never have enough of that. What is a Hofud, anyway? I mean, is that like a mistranslation, or is that some creature from mythology that I've never heard of? I mean, I don't know. You got me on that one, viewers. I do not know what the heck a Hofud is. And here's another new enemy, Worm Kid. Uh, not weak to anything in particular, so let's just take him out. Don't worry about your spell charges too much. You're really not going to uh, run out because uh, the areas in this world are relatively short, so we should be fine. Well, at least they're all asleep for now. Yeah, sleep's okay in this game. Uh, not quite as useful as it was in Dragon Warrior 1, but still pretty useful. I mean, at least it works. Yeah, we don't need any more meat. Hofuds can actually drop meat. How a sword has meat on its bones, I do not know. Those guys just boggle the mind. And we get a power drink, another one, if you care. I guess I might give it to uh, uh, Indy there. I really don't care about strength-based stuff. Not in this game, I'm afraid. And a couple more new enemies. Moths, let's see. They are not weak to anything, but ghouls are weak to fire. So I want to take those guys out. Uh, let's see. Yeah, why don't you tank there? Let's see. Put those guys to sleep. I'm pretty sure uh, ghouls are immune to uh, uh, sleep because they're immune to para-elemental attacks. And take the moths out with fire! Yeah, uh, Laura's immune to uh, paralysis, so we're all good there. Good job there, Pyro. Using your pyrokinetic abilities there. Gain some more mana. Awesome. Why is he gaining so much mana? I mean, usually my human should be gaining more mana. Eh. And we get another pair of giant gauntlets. Awesome. Let's give those to Laura so he can tank even better. Yeah, that ought to take care of his defense for the next couple worlds, really. Or at least the next one world. Whoa! How did Tink take that kind of damage? And why does Tink have protection from Quake? I mean, I, I don't think I've ever seen an enemy that used an Earth Elemental ability or Quake or something like that in the game. 
I, I mean, I would imagine an enemy does have it, but... I've never really seen Quake used that well. Okay, yeah, we really want to take out those Medusas fast, so... Yeah, let's just go all out. I'm running out of time here, anyway. Medusas can get you stoned, especially Lore, because he has no ma mana, which means no magic defense against uh, getting stoned there. Uh, Medusas have Stone Gaze, so... Alright, we have a Thunder Book here, so that's... Relatively speaking, non-elemental, because very few enemies are weak to thunder. So I'll equip that on Indy there, and then we'll continue on through the Cave of Light next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy Legend 2! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!